is going on guys welcome back to another video finally it's been a while but today i'm bringing you guys some awesome mexico racing action that's right guys today we're gonna go through and i'm gonna show you guys some racing action that we did in mexico now we'll first show you guys the cold startup of the car we'll talk about the different races and then show you guys the actual footage from the races and let you guys be the judge you guys will be able to hopefully comment down below let me know how you think this camaro did go ahead and give you guys a cold startup and pull the camaro out and give you show you guys a little walk around of the camaro Just a quick little reminder guys, we still have the giveaway going on right now. Link in the description below, jorgesspeedshop.com. Every $20 is going to get you four entries into the giveaway. We're down to the last two weeks here. The giveaway will end October 31st, so go ahead and grab your merch. Remember, every $20 will be four entries guys again we've got the honda grom here which we do have a one major last modification to do before we give it out to you guys so go check that out jorgespeedshop.com every 20 dollars is going to be four entries guys last two weeks let's get this going but let's move right to the camaro so Let's go ahead and first before we go right into the races show you guys kind of what the setup is for those of you guys that are new this is my 2019 camaro ss and it is a full bolt-on heads and cam setup it's got the rotofab the 95 millimeter uh, ported solar throttle body a full nitrous outlet kit with standalone fuel system running c16 on a 175 shot with the ported prey performance msd and prey stage 3 cam with the gpi ported heads and man this thing i mean it's been such a ripper such a performer it has gone a best of a 959 at 143 miles an hour at the track so it is moving guys and it proved itself when we went out to mexico and started racing a few cars so Let's go ahead and sh get right to it. I'm gonna show you guys a couple runs and then we'll talk about them right after. So, as you guys just saw, we went up against a 1,050 horsepower, single turbo, built motor, everything done Mustang, guys. The Mustang we ran, guys, check out this setup. Crazy, crazy. Big single turbo setup. It's got the ultralights, feed locks. Yeah. 
he came around us hard at 150 like 140 or so it's crazy and he was on my uh, right side so i didn't have the right angle but you guys got to see some of the angles from his point of view now one thing i will say is both cars are running hard now this thing is about 700 he is a thousand fifty but with the big single turbo he had his ramp in really low so that he wouldn't spin and i think that's what helped this car kind of jump out in front because of course the nitrous just hits and goes at 140 is whenever the mustang just slingshotted by me and basically just took off so but i mean who's running past 150 160 anyways unless you're like some 2000 horsepower vipers and stuff so Really, really proud of how the Camaro did on that run. We had a couple a few na runs with a buddy of mine good buddy of mine eric perez in his hammed high ram red ss it's a eight speed but he's always been able to run really really good and because he's got the high ram he does a lot better with the 60s he also spins a lot under in the 50s and 55s but my msd i can't do 60s so we were doing about 55 rolls and you'll see in the you saw in the video i mean he was spinning uh for the most part there was one run where he spun a little bit but still kind of kept um out of all the runs i mean once he gripped uh, i i was slowly kind of still pulling a little bit but i mean his car is pretty quick pretty fast and i mean that just goes to show how good those high rams are and how much power they can make over an msd but i just won't cut my hood for a high ram unless i get like an aftermarket hood so those were some good runs if he would have gripped i'm sure they would have been a lot closer but so far those were really good runs with that camaro <laughs> another mustang this was a white one i'm not sure what it had but it was in the front of the pack which means it has it had some kind of boost or nitrous but either way i mean that car did not have what it took to keep up with the white camaro i mean we were able to pull away pretty easily i did use the nitrous on him of course um not knowing what kind of setup he had and being up front I figured he had a Whipple or a Pro Charger or some kind of boosted application and it was pretty much lights out as soon as we hit it we were gone so not too much competition there and along the way guys there was a lot of Mustangs at this meet and surprisingly even like NA Mustangs didn't really want to run me um, this car has proven itself even in a to the point where I feel like Mustangs don't even want to try running me um the fastest mustang in houston tito uh we both ran and we were pretty much neck and neck and it seemed like this car would probably pull on the top end against that mustang so when it comes to mustangs na when it comes to mustangs na i really don't think there's much competition once you have a camaro that's heads and cam the way mine is it just runs really strong and it's kind of hard to beat if you have your mustang na so didn't really get to run many other mustangs but we did run into a full bolt-on ctsv on a tire and i of course used nitrous on him and it was pretty clear the v's are a lot heavier cars so it's gonna take a lot more i mean I've, I've been able to keep up with even cammed v's uh na so on spray this just wasn't as fair i mean we were able to pull pretty easily at the top end <laughs>
that's right guys you, you guys just saw i raced the green pro charged camaro we've raced before and the roads were just not wanting to hold the power down on spray and this car completely just jumped out to the left lost all kind of control i had to let off and then get back on it and still even with letting off completely and getting back on it i was kind of able to reel him in and get back up to his front fender before we had to let off on a turn but that was a good run um definitely just spun like crazy on that but if we wouldn't have spun i'm sure we would have been able to just kind of pull ahead and move out to the front <laughs> And finally, the last two runs we had, guys, was an NA run with, I believe it was one of those new, like, uh, steel edition Camaros. Um, looked really nice. It had, like, the bright green, shock, uh, shock green, shock yellow uh, calipers. Looked really nice. I'm not sure what was done to that car, but we ran NA, and it was pretty easy win. Um, I'm sure it didn't sound cammed or anything like that, so I doubt it was cammed. Maybe it had a few bolt-ons. But that was a good run, it was fun. And the second and final run we had that night was with a Pro Charge C7. And that was a super good run. And it was unfortunately a little short because we had traffic up front, but I mean, you guys could see how amazing the nitrous is and it just instantly hits. I was able to jump out a couple cars instantly. And the Pro Charger was probably coming, but I doubt he would have been able to catch up or even kind of pass me up at a, until way higher so that was really good really fun running with that c7 pro charge car we've ran it before in the past and i think i've done it like na probably would have been a good run na up to about 120 130 um but that run was super good of course i did use the nitrous on him but those were the runs guys the camaro is running super strong and I just am happy with how it's been performing. I've got a couple things in the works, guys, for the Camaro. Mainly, like I mentioned in previous videos, we're not going to throw more power at it. I'm not going to increase the nitrous shot. But what I will do is play with the settings, maybe tr increase the nitrous hit at the beginning, try to bring down our 60 foot. And one thing that I've got coming, guys, and you guys should keep an eye out for is I did buy the front lightweight brake kit, guys, and that is uh, the aerospace uh, front uh, street kit, which will basically get rid of these big rotors and caliper and save us about 40 pounds in rotating weight in the front. I don't have the rear yet, but I do want to also plan on ordering that. And that saves another about 45 pounds in the rear. So overall, we'd save about 100 pounds in rotating weight with the lightweight brakes, which should be a tremendous, tremendous improvement in our times because the name of the game once you get into these nine seconds is weight uh, if you can get the weight down you'll go faster that is what we kind of have looking forward guys so make sure you keep an eye out on those videos so that you see how this car runs i am going to be going back to the track and trying a few more things so don't think we're done going to the track we still need to try a few different things a lot of people ask in the comments hey why don't you stall it or i see you're leaving off idle so we're going to try that we'll go off of idle and we'll also try to stall it and show you guys what the differences it makes and maybe it runs a little better maybe it runs faster or if it doesn't you guys will know that it really doesn't make a difference so that you guys don't need to do it so still got a lot of things we can do with this car guys and i hope you guys if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe now so that you can see what else we can do and just how far we can take this camaro ss which has exceeded my expectations by far i never expected this thing to be anywhere near the times that we we're running guys we we're running mid nines with a simple 
simple simple setup just heads cam and nitrous it is amazing what we're able to do with this car guys i mean you don't really see many z01 is even getting into the nines to begin with so love wh where we've been and what this car has been able to do and i can't wait to see where we go with it but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video a few mexico runs for you guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one